flying yesterday? We did. We're on hand exclusively as Governor Gavin Newsom <laughs> enters the West Wing of the White House amid speculation about his political future. Californians are lucky to have them. They have our back, we have their back, and there's no greater partner. The governor accepting a national award on behalf of California from the National Forum on Educational Policy, a bipartisan group. I do believe education is under assault in ways that I've never experienced in my lifetime. California's governor continuing his public feud with red state governors, including Ron DeSantis of Florida, a potential presidential candidate. But what's happening now? Banning books? Suppressing speech? The othering of our students? This organization honoring California's record investment in long-term educational programs, including universal pre-K, after school programs, summer school, and child savings accounts. What do you think the rest of the country can learn from California when it comes to education? Well, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I've, I've said it in a different context. Our approach is as different as, as daylight and darkness. I mean, what's going on in education reform across this country is um, pretty insidious. Some of the folks back home have, have complained that California actually isn't doing enough when it comes to education. The, the head of the California Republican Party said uh, that we were one among the last to open during COVID, that a third of students are not at grade level when it comes to math and science, and that highlighting California's approach is, doesn't really make sense. What do you say to those critics? Well, I say what we have seeded are some of the most impactful reforms and innovations. Uh, don't take my word for it, take the word of this bipartisan group. But there's no question California's outcomes are suboptimal, and we have got to step things up. That's why we're making these investments. During this trip, Newsom is meeting with Vice President Kamala Harris, White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain, and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. What is the message that you're trying to convey to Jill Biden today, to the Vice President, to Have leaders on the Hill? Have your back. Have your back. We're on the front lines. We're out there. Use us. Let us, you know, let us support you. A New York Times poll released earlier this week shows a majority of Democrats do not want Joe Biden to run for a second term, potentially creating an opening for Newsom. You know, there are a lot of people that are talking about you running there and potentially being comfortable there. What do you say when you see that? There's no part of you at all? That no, because I, I don't know, you know, it's, it's one of those things. I, I've tried to say no no way in every way I possibly can, including saying sub I I don't know what else, I don't know what language. In fact, I may need advice and counsel. <laughs> uh, what's the language uh, to express absolutely no? Chris Catalago is Politico's White House correspondent. How do people in D.C. see Governor Newsom? Um, I think that he made a lot of waves in this comment, which you guys carried, I think, first, where he said, where the hell's my party? Where's the Democratic Party? Dave Weigel of the Washington Post says Newsom's supermajority in Sacramento puts him in a strong position. So there's a lot of excitement among Democrats about people doing something. Governors in blue states can do something, and the White House at the moment really can't.